Hi, I'm Tiffany Canope. Um, this video is going to show you how to change a wire in a Lincoln PowerMig 255. And this will be for whether you're um, trying to fix a problem with a bird's nest or just need to change the wire out. So um, take a look at this video and follow the steps on how to change the wire out. Okay, so the first step, turn your welder off. Make sure you won't get shocked with any electrical parts inside. Okay, we'll open the cover. And this is going to be your drive roll tensioner. We're going to um, pull this to unlock it, lift that top drive roller up, and then we're just going to look. So inside, these are some of the common points that the wire actually gets um, bunched up. So check those. If you have any problems with those, you'll actually need to cut that wire back um, to be able to release it. So now that we've realized that there's no um, bunching, we'll go ahead and take the um, gas nozzle off and then we'll take the contact tip off that just unscrews but notice there's a ball we'll cut that back take the contact tip off and now the wire will be free to pull back we want to make sure this lead is as straight as possible so that we can pull the wire out so Go ahead and make sure it's straight. And go ahead and just roll this wire back onto this reel. But realize you want to watch the end of this. Otherwise, if you let go of it, it's going to unravel the whole spool. Like that. So catch that. Just loop it into one of these notches there. We'll take the retainer off of the spool, pull the spool off the hub. So this wire that we're switching to, as you see, is a flux core and actually a larger diameter, this 45 thousandths wire. So um, we'll be changing a couple other things also as we go on later. Um, and notice when we put this spool on, there's a couple things to look at. Um, back in the welder, there's actually a tab here for your spool break, um, and this will line up. You can see on the spool, there's a hole right here. So when you put that on, make sure that lines up with your machine. Okay. Okay, so that is keyed in. We'll put this retainer back on. Okay, and also, you want to double check and make sure that your wire is feeding over the top of the roll. You can see this one will be pulling off the top rather than pulling through the bottom. Okay, but we'll just leave that there for now. Um, and then we'll take a look over here in these drive rollers. Um, you'll notice that these are actually a 35 thousandths um, diameter roller. So we'll have to change those. So first thing, take this outer guide off by loosening these knurled knobs. Set that aside. And then you will just spin this locking tab, pull that roller off. Okay. And then you can usually flip these over and you'll see that um, this is a 45 thousandths. Um, but you also want to check the groove pattern. Um, these are they're a V or U groove. Um, these are for solid wire. So we actually want to switch those over to um, a knurled roller for this flux core wire. So we'll just take those both off. And that one's already unlocked. Okay. Okay, so I went and got um, this other roller from the tool cage where we keep all of the spare ones. Um, you can notice that this is a 45 thousandths, um, for 45 thousandths diameter wire. And notice the pattern compared to this one. This is um, one of the knurled rollers for the softer flux core wire. And this is the one that we had on that solid um, steel wire. So we're switching to these. So make sure when you put these on, you can see the number to match your wire. So this is 45 thousandths diameter, so we can see that. So go ahead, slide those on, rotate to lock it in so it does not come off. And then again, take your other one, 45 thousandths, slide it on, rotate to lock and that does not come off okay 
and we'll go ahead and reinstall our outer guide. Okay, and now we will be ready to thread the wire. So when you take this wire off, notice there's a kink, we'll just cut that back. Okay, and it helps if you straighten the first you know, six inches or so, so it'll actually feed properly. Okay, so insert it into this um, guide right here, and you'll actually see it start to feed. You can see that. Okay, so after you see that wire start in there, we can close this top drive roller down. Um, go ahead, bring the tensioner back up. Okay, and then that is locked in, ready to feed. So those drive rollers are essentially just squeezing that wire in there, and as it spins, it's pushing it through. All right, and one last thing to check, make sure your tension is set right. Um, there's a chart behind this tensioner um, that gives you ranges, so this um, flux core is actually gonna fit in the range of this outer shield, metal shield, inner shield. So we're gonna set this at um, you know, a three to four range on our tension. So since that was previously on just a steel wire, it might have a little more tension than we need. So. We don't want to crush that wire when we feed it through, so we might loosen that up to about, you know, a four. So we'll set it right there. We can see that four line, um, and we'll try that. If it starts um, feeding improperly, we might come back and adjust that again. But again, reference this chart um, behind the tensioner to set your tension. Okay, so now we can turn our machine on. Uh, make sure that your gas is turned off before you start feeding this so we don't waste the gas. Okay, and then watch inside the machine as we start to feed and make sure it will start feeding. So go ahead and pull the trigger on your gun. Watch it. Okay, and then we can increase the wire feed just a little bit. Um, and then watch the end of the gun. When it feeds out, we'll stop. Okay, so this is the contact tip that we took off originally. This is a 35 thousandths diameter contact tip. So we're actually going to have to switch out to a larger diameter. This one I got from the tool cage, it's 45 thousandths diameter or the 1.2 millimeter stamped on here. So we're going to um, put this newer contact tip on to match our wire size. When you put these on, just make sure they're snug, finger tight, don't use your pliers to crank them down. Um, they just need to be snugged on there. Okay, we'll go ahead and install our gas nozzle. Okay, and that is good to go. So now that we have changed our wire, our drive rollers, and our contact tip to match, we should be ready to weld. So we'll close the cover, uh, make sure the machine is on, adjust your settings for this particular type of wire, and make sure you remember to turn your gas back on. And get some scrap again and go ahead and practice these settings.